Hi, my name is Corey Wilcox. I'm a communicator in the management section here at Embassy Road. I'm from Alaska, the largest state in the United States geographically, but one of the smallest states population-wise. Alaska is also known as the last frontier, thanks to its vast amounts of unexplored land. Even today, Alaska is seen as a rugged, beautiful wilderness, attracting tourists and cruise lines to explore the glacial fields, remote towns, and dramatic landscapes of the north. Alaska was purchased by Secretary of State William Seward in 1867 and officially became the 49th state in 1959. We are bordered by Canada to the east, the Arctic Ocean to the north, and the Pacific Ocean to the south and west. Alaska's economy is dominated by oil, natural gas, and fishing, all of which Alaska has in plentiful abundance. My state has over 3 million lakes, and including its islands, has more shoreline than any other state in the country. The highest peak in North America, Mount McKinley, can be found in Alaska, as can a long range of volcanoes, several of which are active. I grew up in southern Alaska, Juneau to be specific. It's the capital of the state, only about 30,000 people. It rains every day. It's a cold weather rainforest. We actually get more rain than Seattle. We go there for the sun and to get a little dry. My family moved to central Alaska, which is a whole different part of the state. It's big and beautiful and flat, lots of hiking and canoeing, backpacking and camping. If you're a wilderness nut, Alaska's the place for you. Alaska is the last frontier in the United States. It creates rugged individualists who enjoy the outdoors, enjoy exploring, and you'll probably see them around the world because we like to get out in the winter. It's awfully cold and dark. I'm proud of my state. I'm glad to be there, I'm glad to be from there. And I think prepared me very well to be a diplomat in your country.